Well, first of all, I started teaching. I had a few groups of children the first year. The second year, I was teaching something like 200 children. It was going really well. But I had three young children at home, and that was enough for me. I wasn't interested in teaching anymore. But people phoned me from all over the place. Can you teach here? Can you teach here? Can you teach here? It was obviously a success. Children were learning. They were speaking. Some people said to me, please teach my 12-year-old. My six-year-old knows more than my 12-year-old. So it was clearly time to duplicate myself. That meant creating the right methodology, teaching the teachers how to work with the methodology, meant teacher training, and it meant professional materials that these teachers could use in a systematic manner. But that wasn't a business yet. I think for the first 15 years of working, we were an educational charity. What do I mean? I mean, we didn't have the money to give the teachers enough support. Although we tried our very best, we didn't have the staff, we didn't have the means, and we didn't have enough money to create the materials that the teachers needed. Each year there were new materials, but it wasn't enough. We needed much faster expansion. And people were asking from abroad as well. So it wasn't until the correct franchise model was created that we, the business actually started moving. It was a great small-time business for a few teachers but they would need, who needed more and more support. But the franchise model was what was allowed us to expand as we are now in over 30 countries and tens of thousands of teachers who've been trained.